Welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Today's video is the first of a series of pours I want to do. And um, I want to do pours based on the zodiac signs. Um, so, just a quick disclaimer. I personally do not have faith in astrology or you know being born under a certain sign or star or whatever whatever the case might be um but i know some people do and and their faith is centered around that um so please know i mean no disrespect in that regards um i just thought it would be cool to um kind of do this series of pours based on um characteristics of what a certain zodiac sign is supposed to possess and other associated qualities so um yes that's my disclaimer and i'm not going to do it again for the rest of the series because um i think it should stand and hopefully it's understood um so the first uh sign that i wanted to do was leo and um i did a little bit of research looking back and into what the sign is and um characteristics of a person normally born under this sign so um the the date range for a for a leo is from july 23rd to august 22nd and their element is fire and their colors are gold yellow and orange um which is why i chose this very yellow orange with just that um, metallic red color thrown in so hopefully i did it justice to match my color palette to um what a leo should be or look like if they were in a pour um so i'm trying to think i have there are two people um actually both men <laughs> um that I that like I'm just thinking about my circle of friends or acquaintances or um that what that I personally know so there are two guys um that are friends of mine that are Leos and one of them um one of them is very much like a Leo he possesses a lot of qualities um, that Leos are supposed to possess and then the other one is nothing like a Leo at all um, I think one of the um, the key features of a Leo is that you're supposed to be a natural born leader and kind of that people automatically flock to you um, to look for for direction in um, situations where there's like group a group of people and um, guidance has to be given to accomplish a, a goal so um my probably my best guy friend um brad he is a leo and he very much possesses that quality um he's a police officer so it's kind of like innate in him but even among his peers he's kind of looked to for leadership so um yeah i can definitely see that that aspect of being a leo in him but then the other person is not a leader doesn't want to be a leader and i don't i've never seen him um kind of step up and fulfill that role in a group of people so you know it's just um I guess it just depends on the person like I said I don't take these things seriously I don't think that um, they define who you are as a person and you can see characteristics of different signs people show them um, but it's just for me it's just fun like I'll I'll read like the horoscope and I'm just like nope yeah you are so off track like who is doing this this is not you yeah. and then sometimes you'll read them and you're like oh wow cool they got me to a t but i think there's um power in suggestion so there is that um yeah <laughs> um i was initially going to do this pour just like just the yellows and the golds and those kind of colors but then i was i, I was like oh i need kind of like a filler color so i could have went dark 
and used black but instead I was like let's put white in it instead and I'm really glad I did because I think that the pour came out beautifully and um, I'm really pleased with how it looks there's something I've been doing lately with my pores and I don't know um, if anyone would be interested in knowing this but I'll share it with you so um used to I would just like mix up or use runoff pour that was the same consistency as the the paint that I actually put into the pour but lately probably the past two weeks I've just been adding water to my container and like if I have just like a little bit of paint left in the cups that I'm pouring out of um, I'll just pour it all into the container I poured out of and then I'll add some water and get it pretty pretty thin like liquidy and then I pour that around um to use as my um you know what you call it where your flow your flow paint and this has been working really well um and I really like the results it does sometimes create those tiny little cells it's not really lacing I don't get it thin enough to do lacing but it gets this it makes those little pearly cells kind of pop up on the corners um sometimes not every time but a few of the pores it's done that and I really really like um I really like how that worked I did do a flip and drag and I tried that to like, because you know when you drag your cups, you got that little space in between each one. And I tried doing that. Don't do that. Don't use it on a flip and drag. It does not work well. It completely, like, you've got that uniformity in flip and drags. It completely mm, messed it up and I just ended up scraping the whole thing. So I don't suggest it for flip and drags. But give that a go if you haven't. Like, just add just a little bit of water. Get it, well, a actually probably a good bit um get it pretty thin um just in the container that you were pouring out of and use that as your flow paint and holy bejesus it works so good um i really really like it so maybe um some of you all will give that a go and it will work well for you also um you do need to pull your um don't you're like your your pour paints you do need to pull them over the edge though because if you don't that thin paint will show the canvas through so do keep that in mind but um yeah it makes for some really cool effects and uh, i've been liking doing that what else is it uh um oh i went on i'm gonna record it um my unboxing or my haul video it will probably be up after this one i'll I do two big hauls at the at the beginning of the year and like midway through the year, year usually around August. Um, they're obscenely large. They're a lot of money, but I don't do that every week. Um, so uh, I'm going to do um, like kind of like an unboxing or whatnot. I'll record it um, and share with you guys what I've got in like my huge beginning of the year haul um but if it offends you with money being spent on things that aren't necessities um you probably don't want to watch it i'm just giving you a forewarning but if you like watching what people buy like hauls are my favorite kind of videos um then stay tuned because that's coming um i just isn't it it's just kind of frustrating to feel like you have to give a disclaimer but some people are truly offended like you didn't need that or whatever uh there's very few things in the world that we need but there are things that we enjoy um and i enjoy paint pour so i also enjoy steak a lot i've been doing low carb <laughs> i've been doing low carb diet y'all i've been doing so good on my low carb diet but um i'm burnt out on chicken like I can't do any more chicken. I can't have pork because it runs my blood pressure up. You guys, my blood pressure has been so good these past several months. We've really gotten a great, like, regimen that's working perfect for me. So, um, I don't want to mess that up. So, I'm not eating pork. I am sick of chicken. Um, I really have to watch the seafood I eat because um, I have allergies. So, it's steak. Um, yeah, steak and salad pretty much. But it's going really well. It's working and I'm really, really happy with um, the results. 
Um, so we're just going to continue on until I reach the weight I want to reach. And then I'll be able to chill out a little bit. But anyway, these are the close um, results of the pour. And I think it, I love that, that right there. It's so pretty to me. And you can see those little bubbles on the corner. That's from thinning that paint. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will speak with you all very soon. Bye.